Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopBatic.com. Today we're going to take a look at Festool's Domino model number DF500Q. Now this is a smaller Domino of the two that Festool offers. There's a larger unit called the Festool Domino XL, which hopefully we'll bring to you in a future video. Today we're going to discuss the tool's operation, how it works, and then we'll uh, run around the tool, show you its features, we'll discuss my impressions, and then who's going to buy it. The Festool Domino is similar to a biscuit or plate joiner as it creates loose tenon joinery. Now, the Festool Domino is increasingly more complicated than a biscuit or plate joiner, but it's much of a similar concept. The Domino creates a oblong slot that you insert the dominoes. Now, you can either purchase these from Festool in various different sizes or make their own if you so uh, desire. The unit itself has a bit in there similar to an up spiral or down spiral bit, a router bit, and then it oscillates from side to side creating the longer slot for the dominoes. Now these bits are interchangeable with different sizes from 4 to 5, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter bits. The width of the mortise can be changed to allow for flexibility and also the depth of cut is adjustable um, and then the position where you put the workpiece on is adjustable with the faceplate. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. The position of the mortise that you create is directly dictated by the faceplate and the two adjustments that you can make. On the left hand side here there is this lever that if you loosen you can change the angle of the faceplate depending on what uh, work or application you're doing. You simply tighten that up and lock it in position. It does have some nice detents and a nice visual scale on uh, the left hand side of the unit when you're actually using it or on the right hand side if you're looking head on like the camera is here. On the other knob on the right hand side closer to the dust collection port is a uh, knob that you can loosen up and then you can raise or lower the entire face plate uh, assembly to dictate if you want the mortise closer to the surface or farther down on the surface if you're doing some setbacks or things like that or if you're working with thicker material rather than thinner material. And then there's also a scale on the back end but uh, better than that there is a uh, set stop lock here that's set in millimeters, so if you are working in the United States, that uh, can be a little bit of a pain. There are some companies out there that sell some replacement parts uh, for the Festool system and change it back into imperial measurements. Um, there's a nice handle on the front of the unit that allows for firm placement of the faceplate on your workpiece. Keep it nice and square and in position as you plunge the tool. The Festool Domino does take a little bit of time to get used to and make a nice smooth plunge because it's incredibly accurate and the dominoes are made with uh, very precise measurements that just a little bit of uh, material underneath the faceplate or a little bit of kink in your alignment will um, alter your fit of your two joints that you put together obviously with your loose tenon joinery or domino in between. On the top of the faceplate here, there is a clear plastic or acrylic or plexiglass uh, sight gauge. There's a center line here that allows you to line up the center of your mortise with the marks uh, that you have on your workpiece, similar to doing it with a biscuit or plate joiner. And then there's also some incremental marks in metric to the left and right side of that center line. If we tilt the faceplate out of the way, you can see there's two uh, indents or detents that stick out uh, on the front of the unit. You can register to the side of your material very fast, very easy if you want your two uh, pieces of material to be nice and flush. You just register it one piece on the detent and then the other piece on the same detent and those mortises will be located exactly the same distance from the edge of the material which will make them flush. You can also register these inside each domino mortise um, so if you want them spaced separately you can do that as well. As I said earlier, you can change the width of the mortise that you make on this unit by turning the green dial on the top of the unit. Anything green in the Festool lineup is something that you can interact with or change a setting. The far left setting is an exact fit uh, for the domino and the bit that you are using. The middle setting is a little bit wider to allow a little bit of adjustability. And then the far right is the widest setting which allows for quite a bit of uh, adjustability uh, when you think about how precise and accurate uh, this unit can be. Now I use the exact setting when I'm joining two boards using one or two dominoes, something that's not too hard to uh, line up. The middle setting I'll use on a panel glue up or maybe a joint that I'm using uh, three or more 
Um, dominoes uh, typically do the very first one on the edge set to the exact setting and then the rest of the dominoes on that joint I'll do the medium or larger one which allows for some flexibility so I don't have to have the domino exactly perfect left to right um, it'll just register on top and it'll be perfect up and down. The far right setting I use a lot for uh, wood movement uh, allocations or allotments that uh, breadboard ends or things like that to where you need to account that domino in there may not be glued and it's just a providing an alignment but has a lot of room to expand and contract with the wood. On the left hand side of the unit here is the depth adjustment. Now you want to set the depth according to the domino and bit size that you are using. For instance, this is a 10 by 50 domino with the 10 millimeter bit installed. It's 50 millimeters long, so I want the depth set at 25 millimeters. That way 25 millimeters is one half of my material and 25 millimeters is in the other uh, section of material that they are going to be joined together. On the top of the unit is the green power switch. It's located in a nice convenient area for your thumb or index finger depending on how you want to hold the unit. Uh, it's a switch, you push it on, it stays on, you push it off, it stays off. Sticking with the top of the unit, there's a little uh, area here on top that you're able to slip your uh, crescent wrench in or wrench that you're using to change the blade. You simply put it in, you pull it up, and the whole faceplate assembly slides off and you're now able to get access to the bit. When you're changing the bit, there is a bit lockout button here on the right hand side of the unit. You press it, the bit will find its locking position and then you can take your uh, crescent wrench or wrench or what have you to uh, tighten or loosen the bit on there. To put it back up together, you simply uh, put it on a flat surface, you align the rods to their holes and you slowly push in and then uh, right at the end give it a nice little gentle shove and it will click right back into position. On the right hand side of the unit is the dust collection port. Now I connect my Festool CT48E uh, to the Festool Domino here and it does an excellent job of pulling out the chips, removing them from that mortise and preventing the bit from recutting uh, those chips and uh, wearing out the bit a lot faster than it should. Uh, I should note that I've tried uh, various other brands of dust extractors uh, on this unit and they do a good job as well. I have tried a shop vac on here. Um, it performed great. It just was a little bit tricky um, getting the attachments down to the dust collection port on the unit itself. On the back of the unit is where the power cord gets inserted. Line up the pattern correctly, insert the power cord, give it a quarter turn to the right and you're ready to go. If you want to remove it, give it a quarter turn to the left and then remove it and pull it out and put it back in your storage case. Now the kit that I bought uh, came with three accessories. One was a faceplate accessory that you put on and then you will line up these little wings here that uh, you can set um, for putting mortises in the end of skinny stock such as uh, rails for face frames, rails for doors, any skinny stock that you have to repeatedly put a mortise into the end, it's an excellent time saver if you have a whole bunch to do. So instead of marking your line on every single one of your parts, mark it on the first one, set everything up and then you're able to fly through that production work with the use of this accessory. The second accessory that came on was these extension wings uh, for additional uh, stop pins or detents that you're able to register on your material. You can register it from the end of your material or again inside an existing domino that you've already done. The third accessory that was included was this 90 degree support that screws onto the faceplate in a 90 degree mode and it gives you just a little bit extra support when you're making a plunge cut in the surface of material and you're only registering on the surface rather than a 90 degree corner uh, giving you a lot of support. I've had the Festool Domino 500 in my shop for around four years now and it's absolutely awesome and it's phenomenal. It does one job and it does it very well, loose tenon joinery. It's quick, it's accurate, it's reliable. Uh, it has Festool quality and precision that you come to know with the Festool brand. And the accessories that it comes with or that are available with it are awesome if you do that type of work and are a must have. The dust collection is great. Uh, Festool is always known for a high quality dust collection in their tools. They really think about um, the hazards of dust and also on the job site uh, and they know that those guys are going into uh, a workplace, a home or whatever and uh, they want to leave that operator with minimal cleanup at the end and this tool is no exception. 
Now touching base on the loose tenon stock uh, very quickly, obviously Festool offers uh, loose tenon stock that you can purchase. I believe it's made out of beach. I have to double check on that. Um, but that's what I do. I can't justify making my own stock. Um, the quality that they put out that are in their assortments are just, it's tough to beat and it's tough to justify uh, due to the, the cost uh, of them itself. Um, Speaking of cost, this unit is very expensive. Um, the dominoes are very expensive, but uh, you get what you pay for. You get an excellent, phenomenal joinery method that saves you a ton of time in the workshop uh, for doing mortise and tenon work. Now, it's not an integral mortise and tenon where your um, mortise and tenon are a part of your workpiece. Again, you're using loose tenon stock, but it's an extreme time saver, especially in production work, utilizing the accessories. Um, so with that high cost, who's going to buy this unit? Um, in my opinion, there's a quite a variety of people. One, you have that professional that's on the job site um, that's doing some unique stuff that needs to get really flexible with uh, some joinery methods. Maybe they can't, uh, maybe they don't have a multi-router or something to do a lot of angles and things. Well, the faceplate on this um, domino can do that. It can adjust to some cool angles and get the job done. Myself, uh, at the time that I bought this, I didn't do mortise and tenons a whole lot at the time, so I didn't want to take the time to set up all the operations. Yes, it was expensive, but at the time when I needed to do those, all I had to do was pull this thing out. I take literally minutes to do what I would take me hours to set up and get the job done very, very fast. So that pro and the person that can justify the cost if their shop time is very valuable and then instead of setting up tools they want to actually be working, a Festool Domino is a perfect fit in their workshop. Let me know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. What do you think of Festool? What do you think of the Domino? Um, I think they're just a phenomenal company, a phenomenal unit here. It does what it does and it does it very well. Uh, I encourage you to follow us on social media as we do exclusive product giveaways, product review updates, project updates. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.